Hi, this is Riddick, Big Daddy Bo, two-time former world heavyweight champion, and you're watching Cool True Sports. <laughs> True School Sports. True School Sports. There you go, champ. Thank you. Well, it's personal between me and you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, wanted to really just talk about Emiliano Vargas here for a second because he fought on the top rank card, and um, you know he got a second round knockout over uh, Julio Cesar Martinez. Not that one, not not the one on one hundred and fifteen, but you know uh, a different Julio Cesar Martinez from uh, Indiana who was 1-0 with one knockout coming into the fight, had only been professional like six months, I believe. So, uh, Emiliano Vargas fought him. And, you know, I, I got to tell you guys, you know, I I've been hearing a lot about Emiliano Vargas for the last two years because, like, as you guys know who follow the channel, I, I go to Vegas frequently. I haven't gone in a while, but, you know, I, I, I do go to Vegas. And I haven't gone to Vegas a lot over the last two years and some change. So, I, you know, I met a lot of people. I, I hear things in gyms. You hear sparring stories, get things relayed to you. Then, like, he, uh, I know that Emiliano Vargas and his brothers came down to South Florida la uh, last year, and uh, they did some sparring down here at uh, Herman Caicedo's gym. So I have friends that sparred him and saw him spar, and I get accounts from them. So I've been hearing all these things about Emiliano Vargas for all, all this time, and I've been seeing all these clips and uh, hearing all this hype, and, you know, I'll tell you this, man. Like, I know it's a pro debut, and they're not, not going to put the kid in there with no killer. Um, well, not pro debut. Top rank debut, second pro fight. So it was a second pro fight, top rank debut. They weren't going to put him in there with no killer. But man, he showed a lot. He showed a, he showed a whole lot. You know, he showed uh, that ability. Uh, obviously, I, I think the one thing that I've heard about Emiliano Vargas over the last couple of years is the speed. And he definitely had that speed. He was able to uh, land punches from a variety of different angles, fighting off that long, tall, rangy frame of his because of the fact that you know, he has that speed and, and, and he seems to know how to um, mix it up a little bit, which is always a great thing if you have speed, if you can change the speed. That was number one. The second thing I noticed about Leonardo Vargas was the fact that, you know, he he's someone that when he commit, when he threw punches going to the body, he wasn't afraid to really dig down there and commit, which I think is a great uh, sign. It's, 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 it's a great professional trait to have early in your career at 18 years old because it, it shows me that uh you're not afraid of, of of things coming back at you and you're 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 you're, you're not worried about what, what you're gonna get hit, get hit with you're 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 looking to impose your will on the fight so i like that and then ultimately the the, the second thing i was impressed with was or the, la the last thing i was impressed with was his boxing iq the way in which he set that not the way in which he set that knockout up that knockout up it was a left hook to the body and then he kind of like Square it up mid 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 combination, and he kind of threw like a, a hybrid left hook jab kind of punch and put the dude out cold. Um, so for my money, that's probably as about as good of, of a pro debut as I've seen in a long time. Not pro debut, top rank debut. It's as good of a fight as I've seen for anybody at this young of their, uh, stage of their career in in a long time. And and you know, uh, you know, Emiliano Vargas is campaigning at one thirty five. Uh, he's talking about also fighting at 140. So, you know, he's with top rank. You know, top rank's got like Devin Haney. We know they got uh, Keyshawn Davis and Shakur Stevenson and, um, you know, Abdullah Mason. And, and they, got, they, got a, they, they, got, they got a whole truckload, a, a, a whole smorgage board of top talent around those weights. And you could throw him in there because um, I keep hearing it, man. I mean, I've been, I've, been having people, I have, I've been having people come up and tell me for the last two years, you know, BT, True School, Brendan. This kid, Emmy, Emiliano Vargas, he's going to be better than Shakur Stevenson, or he's going to be as good as Shakur Stevenson. Uh, he's going to be as good as Devin Haney. He's going to be better than Devin Haney. He's going to be better. Like, I've heard his name. I've heard people who have seen this kid spar, and I've heard he sparred even some of those names I mentioned, and, 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 and I'm not going to get too deep into what happened, but, you know, I heard he didn't do bad. And, you know, he's a, he's a, just a really talented kid, and and. and, and the last thing I'll say, this and this truthfully, truthfully is the last thing. The last thing I'll say is I, I really think that Emiliano Vargas, um, the best thing about him from what I've seen is he seems to have a really good head on his shoulders. You know, he's not uh, too arrogant. He's not too braggadocious. He seems to be very a very centered person. Um, now, we'll see what happens to him when, you know, he gets some money and some fame and he gets a couple more knockouts and more highlights and he gets a couple of years of people telling him how great he is in the boxing and people massaging his ego and then we'll see how he handles all that because that 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 really is the true test of a, of a, of a talented young fighter's character is when 
Because it, it happens to all of them. Like, it happens to all of them. You know, they all start off pretty humble. But then, you know, you start getting some knockouts on TV. And people start telling you how great you are. Sometimes you can believe your own press clippings. Now, I don't think he'll be that kind of a, of, of a person. But you just never know until it actually happens. So we'll see how, how he handles that in the coming years. But all in all, um, my, my genuine first impressions of seeing him fight on TV in the pros um, for the first time. Impressed. Very, very impressed with Emiliano Vargas. I'm looking very forward to following his career and, and, and see how he develops and, sh and seeing what, what other skills he has because he didn't really even show the skills that I heard he has the most of, which is the fact that he could box and move and he'd have to really do much of that this fight because he was more slugging and sitting in the pocket and exchanging. But uh, I think in the future we'll see some of that and I'm looking forward to seeing that. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. What did you make of Emiliano Vargas' sensational knockout in his top-ranked debut? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding, from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.